So now you have camped in a Coachman Nova, a Coachman Beyond, a Coachman Galleria, and a Road Trek Chase, their 50th anniversary edition. Now, I am saving the brightest one for last. Look at that. Now, behind me, you're gonna see a Spitfire Orange Winnebago Travato. So for years, the Travato was the best-selling Class B on the market. And hearing what you guys are telling me, how you like the twin beds, you like the bigger bathroom, you like, uh, there's certain things about this you're gonna like. I think the K model is gonna be the one that if if you like the Travato, the K model is gonna be the one you like. They do make a G, which is a different floor plan, but this K model has the twin beds, it has the big bathroom, it's on the brand new ProMaster chassis. So people say, why Winnebago? They are one of the most unique Class B builders when they're making little things that they're not like everybody else. So I really like, I've always wanted a car. From this <laughs> like I, a, I like the color as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, you can find it. It, yeah, it's, yeah. It, I, you, you can definitely find it. That is one thing that no one can say. I lost my orange Travato. Nobody can ever say that. <laughs> All right, so the Winnebago Travato. Are you ready to try this I one out? I certainly am ready. Here well, we go. There you go. go. Woohoo! They're gonna see us coming. <laughs> that is true. Okay, like we've done with all of these, first impression when you walk in, and I see a whole bunch of dark wood. I'm looking at all this dark wood. I'm used to looking at lighter colors. Hmm. Well, before you make any snap judgments, let's take it out on the road and then let's take it uh, to a camping spot. You know, how can you have such dark wood and it feels so spacious? It does feel spacious. I think because of that rear bathroom, but we'll, um, we'll find out more. Let's, um, let's hit the road first. Let's get going. Well, I've wanted to drive a Travada ever since they came out. And, uh, I'm glad we are. This, uh, this is now the third of the five RVs we've had that is on the uh, ProMaster chassis. And I have really come to like Master Jesse. It's a really comfortable ride. Um, I can't say I haven't driven when it was my turn to drive. I was just taking a nap. <laughs> back there, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel very wicked. You've been driving like crazy, and I was back there having wonderful sleep. And it's the reason I have with having wonderful sleep is it's such a nice ride. There's no bumps, and it really rides nice. I guess it's Florida roads. <laughs> yeah, Florida roads are better, but but also, don't like you think it, it's a really comfortable mattress? Oh, a mattress. Yeah. Something interesting. Um, on the leather, you kind of slip and slide around, but this is, has cloth on it. And you don't slip and slide, you just kind of sink in. It's very comfortable. Yep, it has been nice. Uh, mileage wise, this is right up there uh, with all the other Pro Masters that we've driven on the average shy at 15 miles a gallon and uh, you know that's that's pretty good that's pretty good for uh, any kind of a RV and uh, something that I like when you walk in the door here there's a, a lot of space there's a big open space yeah right back there you don't feel crowded when you walk in the door yep and it doesn't have those kamikaze steps <laughs> that the road track had that kept bumping into our yeah. Our, uh, you know, our legs. You know, I didn't notice that, but uh, you pointed it out. Then they were whacking me in the shed. <laughs> yeah. Well, this doesn't have that. Uh, no. I've had to go a little slower because uh, this uh, this crazy orange red, this awesome color. Uh, I love the color. Yeah, but the color is what gets the attention of police. Yeah. They always have said that if you drive a, a red or a yellow car, that you better obey the laws. So I think it's the same probably for a, for a Class B van. Yeah. All right, so um, thumbs up on driving this thing. It's ride is awesome and handles really well. And uh, Jennifer loves the uh, ability to uh, go back there and sleep. I can testify for the comfort of that sofa back there.
Well, I have always wanted to try the Winnebago Travado ever since it was introduced a little over a decade ago. I think we covered it uh, in the first year that they debuted it. So it's taken us a while uh, and this is the fifth in our series. You can see uh, up above we'll put a link uh, to all of our other series uh, as we've tested out these Class Bs. So let's uh, take a look at the exterior. First of all, you gotta love this color. Why don't other RV manufacturers make really bold and distinctive colors like this? I don't know, but this one is awesome. Well, um, I gotta say that I like this color, this bright orange. Oh my gosh, everybody who has seen this is, oh, that's an awesome rig. They haven't even looked inside. I mean, our grandkids, I showed them a picture of it and they approved. They did. Uh, first of all, this has the bow seal of approval. Uh, one of the things that Winnebago realizes is that 70 to 80 percent of all RVers travel with a pet, usually a dog, and these are little tie downs on both of those running boards, at the front and the back, and uh, also on the driver's side, so you can, you know, tie down your pet. And uh, we'd let Bo go, but we're kind of in a little boondocking spot, and there's a bunch of woods and stuff out there, and we don't really want them to go out there without us because. Florida has panthers and bear, and yes, they do have bears, lots of bears, snakes and all sorts of other, and alligators, and uh, Bo thinks he's ready for it. He hears them right now, and he's ready to go. But anyway, there's very little on the side. No storage at all. No storage here at all. Uh, an awning, an automatic awning, carefree awning that will come out, and uh, you can, there's a switch inside. Okay, I got to interrupt. Carefree, does that mean if the wind blows, it's going to... No, that's the name of the manufacturer oh, okay. of the awning, Carefree. Okay. Uh, and I don't know if this has the option to, uh, if, it, if the wind blows that it retracts, uh, you can get that on some of their products. I don't know if this has it. Um, we're not big users of an awning. I think an awning, I mean, if we, even when we're camping all summer long, very seldom do we use an awning. Are you saying that we have kind of bad luck and it's cloudy days and rainy wherever yeah, we go? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's a cloudy <laughs> and, and rainy when you day. Go, well, when you go away in a bee, you I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's nothing on this side at all. Uh, up here, this is uh, a little hookup. If you want to set up your own portable solar field, this does have, I think, uh, two or 300 watts of solar up on the roof. And uh, you can hook up a, a connection here uh, for for solar, uh, this is uh, and then you just run your solar field out there wherever you want. Uh, over here is uh, cable TV. Uh, hook up your cable TV. Uh, there's also or a satellite if you want. Hook up a satellite dish and 12 volt supply there. And these are 110 volts right there on the side. All right, I got a lot to show you in the back. So let me show you here. Start with the bicycle rack. Uh, this is a pretty neat little bike rack. It's from Black River, and it, 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 it's held onto the door. It's very sturdy. It will hold two uh, road bikes or mountain bikes, not e-bikes. E-bikes are way too heavy for most bike racks, and that's the case here. Uh, let me open it up, and I will show you some of the stuff inside. There's a ladder here, and uh, I'll climb the ladder in a minute and show you up on the roof, just because I mentioned there was solar up there. Uh, but let's uh, take a look at it, open it all up. In the back, uh, this is a rear bathroom, which is one of the largest you'll find on the Class B. We'll give you a tour of that in a minute. Jennifer will go in and show you that, and we'll go through all the features there. But I want to show you something kind of weird about this. Uh, right here, is your water, your wet bar, as they call it. All the water stuff uh, is hooked up here. Uh, you put your city water in, you put your uh, fresh water in, uh, your winterizing controls, there's the water pump hookup, satellite, uh, if you have a satellite system right there, cable system goes there. Uh, this is for a portable shower. And if I show you that, this little hose right here, We'll, uh, you know, it seems like everybody has that these days, the yeah. little portable shower. Yep, they do. And, you know, you just, it's a quick release on it. Basically just uh, stick it right in there. And I'll show you why that is important in a minute. But, uh, you know, you can shower yourself off. Bo's dirty. I can get his feet 
clean off his feet. And am I seeing hot and cold water? Yes, hot and cold. And I'll I'll come back to that in a second. Well, all right, we're talking showers. There's obviously a shower in here, but let's forget about that for a moment. See these things? Okay, these things are really weird. They're not weird. They're they're just a very distinctive thing. Okay, so let's. These are nunchucks. Winnebago believes in self-defense, and so they have equipped you with nunchucks. Uh, actually, these things are not. They go in. Put that in. So right. Now for the other side. Yep. Twist that around. There. There right. you go. That's okay. it. All right. Same with this one. That one correct? Yep. And then we put these put two them like together. so. And there's a little pin. Little, little pin. Get the holes lined up. Like so. I think it needs to get. Oh, okay. I did it. So, so what is this for? Well, this is for chin ups. You ready? One, two, three. Four. No, you're not buying that, huh? Okay, so it's not for that. It is for this. I'm not going to set this up, but this has little Velcro straps that go around that, and it's a curtain. It goes all the way around like so, and what this then is, is an outdoor shower. So you would take this little hose, and uh, you would just shower. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just. <laughs> we do not edit out bloopers, by the way. You would just use this. You keep that shower head over there. <laughs> yeah. Here, you want to see how this works? No. So we would just use that to shower. And again, it's hot and cold water. And it's and all on a quick release. got knobs there for hot and huh? cold. You can adjust the water temperature. Yep. <laughs> and you can see just that we've had the water in, in there. there. And there's a little bit of storage in there. There's a power cord in there, and it all works out well. All right, so we'll put the nunchucks away. Yeah. Um, a good rule always is put it back before you forget it. A place for everything, and everything in its place, and uh, that way it keeps going. Little hint: if you leave this hanging like this, come on down and look at this. If you leave that hanging like that, when you're driving down the road, it can kind of bug you. So I just would stick it like so, and then it doesn't drown. Or in that little vinyl yeah. pocket. So here's the weird thing about this that I really don't like with this rear wet bay here. All right, you're going to hook up your hose here, right? You're going to put your hose in here for your fresh water or your gravity. Well, you're not going to leave your door open, so you're going to shut the door. And what happens to your hose? What happens to your hose? You're going to be kinking your hose. So there has to be a hole. Someplace. There is no hole. They, we've gone over this a whole bunch uh, before I did this review. And uh, I guess you just have to kink your hose or leave it partially open, which I think is one of the worst ideas I've ever seen. I do understand why they have it in here, because uh, it's inside the coach where you have the furnace running and cold weather, it's not going to freeze up. Uh, and, and that's good. That is really good if you're a stealth camper it's good because you don't see all those water utility hookups. But come on, Winnebago, where's the hose going to go? How's it going to come out? I really it, don't want to crawl underneath. So if I no, crawled no, underneath we, and looked up, there is not. There is no, none. So uh, I asked Nick about that. And he says, well, they have these uh, real flat hoses, you know, and they do. But when you put water through them, they become round hoses. And you're going to kink your hoses. And I just, I don't understand it. Maybe I'm missing something. If you are a Winnebago Travato owner and you have figured out a solution to that, or it's not a problem, explain it in the comments in the description below. But for me, this doesn't make a lot of sense. So you're telling me that when you're hooked up to the city water at the campground, you're going to shut the door on top of the hose. Yeah, hmm. that's what I'm saying. Doesn't make sense to me. Somebody from Winnebago or a Winnebago Travato, explain it to me if that's not the case. So um, what about this? This is nice. This is this is a window flap, <laughs> but uh, you really can't see out from the window uh, at the front of the cab when you're looking out the window. But you're going to want privacy if you're in the bathroom or if you're in a place like us with boondocking with nothing behind you, you know, you, you might want to have the window open so you can see. 
I like that because I'm not going to lose that cover for the window. Yes, it's so always it's permanently it, mounted. It zips. Yep. And, uh, you know, you want your privacy. I like that feature that it is permanently attached there because I think it'd be much too easy to lose that covering. And it's so easy to open. Yeah, and close. it looks like a good zipper. Yep. Um, this is your toilet paper holder. It's built into the back of the door. So you know you want this door shut if you're going to use it. Uh, we'll come back and talk about the rear bath in just a couple of minutes. But this is where kind of all the action is on the Travato. Let's go around now to the driver's side. We'll come back this way because I want to go up on the ladder and I want to uh, have Jennifer then show you the bathroom. But uh, at the back on the driver's side, way at the back of the Travato here, this is the uh, sewer uh, drain. This is where you would hook up the sewer hose. There's uh, black and gray tank valves that would empty it, and you just hook up the hose, put it in the drain, empty, pull those valves, and you empty it. Where do you keep that sewer hose? Because remember, there's no outside storage on this thing. You would keep it right here. This little, there's a nice little container in there, and you just push it in there. Always wear gloves, by the way, when you're messing with the stinky slinky, as we call them. So no macerator? No macerator on this. I don't know if that's an option, um, but it, it might be. You can ask Winnebago. This is the vent for the Truma. Uh, Truma uh, provides both the hot water and the furnace. Uh, so it has to vent somewhere, and that's where the vent is. Nothing else on the outside, right next to the uh, sewer uh, hose holder is where you would hook up your uh, your gas, your LP gas. And uh, you just basically bring it up to the station. They bring that big thing, turn it off, and pump it in. And if you're going through a bridge and you have to turn your, power, your gas off, there's a switch for it right there. There's also one inside the coach. This is where you hook up your, uh, your 30 amp power connection. Just push it in, lock it up. There's a little ring hose here and you tighten that so it won't fall loose. Uh, and that's it. Again, permanent running, running boards. I really like these. Two tie downs for the dog. That pipe right there is for the generator. There's, I believe, a 3000 watt generator that works really well with that. All right, I'm gonna show you what's up on the roof and then we'll go for the inside tour. Now to do so, I'm going to have to obviously shut the doors and we'll do so now. And I'll take the camera. There you go. Okay, up on the roof, there's the solar panel. You see all the pollen, that yellow stuff? That's pollen. It's springtime here in Florida. Isn't that amazing? And uh, that's about a two or 300 watt uh, solar panel. There's one here and there's one up at the front. Uh, there is the Coleman Mach air conditioner. And then I like this. You have setups here uh, to add more solar if you like. See, there's a blank, a blank uh, connector right there for more solar to plug in, all pre-wired. So that's the rooftop. All right, one more thing to show you, and that is the rear hitch, two inch receiver. This can tow 3,500 pounds. So hmm, take a boat, put a, a big storage box on the back or whatever else that you might need. All right, that's the exterior of the Stravato. Now let's start with the bathroom because it's in the rear. Jen, can you uh, come on out and let's talk about the bathroom. Hello. Hello, are you ready for the bathroom tour? We are ready for the bathroom tour. Oh, okay. That sounds so weird. <laughs> But again, this is one of the very few Class Bs that have a rear bathroom. And uh, I'm going to start at the top. There's a vent in the bathroom. For a Class B to have a vent in and the bathroom. Fan. And a fan there. And a fan. This is awesome. We've got our ceiling light, the vent, and the fan. If you go on over, we've got a medicine cabinet here, which can't say enough good things about that. We've got our drop-down sink and faucet, and the water's going to drain back there. And this is, you just kind of would pull this like yeah, so. Yeah, pull, pull it around. control right there. Yep. Yeah. All you need, and you don't need it. This is fine. This works great. You've got your shower head, and... That's how you turn it on or off. On yeah. and off. 
water pump, and I'm not sure what that is. Well, turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh light. Lights. That's a light. There's a light switch. Yeah. <laughs> now, what happens if I hit the water pump, Well, you can though? turn the water pump. I'll see how loud it is. Not too bad. It's not loud. Yeah. You know, not like on that road track. You got just hit yeah. it twice to make it off. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave the light on for a minute. Here's your shower curtain. They got it kind of tied in knots, and you'd hook it all up there, and it would work great. So, now, toilet. this is a, like, Clean right out there. your toilet. Uh, it's not a bidet, but um, it makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. And you're standing on a bamboo little platform, so that's nice. Yep, the, shower the drain, drain is right down there. We got the platform. We talked about this being unusual. Look at that. Yeah, all the storage. It's pretty. The pretty wood. Open up. You can use this as a wardrobe, or else you've got adjustable shelves in here. So wardrobe, let everything hang. If you like to fold everything, adjustable shelves. So make it so that it works for you. A nice, I, I like this hardware. That works so easily. You know, it's not complicated, it's simple. And this fits your hand nicely as well. Now, you want your privacy in the bathroom? We've got two doors that meet in the middle. Now you have privacy. Hello, Jen, there you are. <laughs> And if you want it, if you know you don't need all that privacy, you could just pull the shower curtain around. But when you're driving down the road, I would strongly suggest that you latch these. You don't want them rattling around. We don't need them breaking off. So we have a nice big bathroom. And if you're camping out in the boonies and you want to open up those doors, there is a screen here that you can unroll, drop down, zip it shut, and... Uh, you get some air and you want, want to go in and out got a handle to grab on for getting in and out this you unhook this both sides let it drop you've got a screen you've got a zipper that works from the outside or the inside you want air because you're camping and it's beautiful and you need some air and uh, they've even covered up the toilet a little bit i approve of that <laughs> yeah no it, you, people don't need to see your toilet so um I like this. Yeah. Very nice. it. And you want uh, to open it up, you just roll that back up and yep. fasten, it, fasten it right there. It's a nice bathroom, flush toilet. Sounds like porcelain. Sounds like porcelain. Must mm -hmm. be porcelain. We'll call it porcelain. I'm going to lock up the, the back, step. come around the side, and we'll uh, start at the front. OK. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, we shut the left door first. <laughs> and there you go, at the back of the Travado. Bo still tied on his little tie down there. And now let's go inside. First thing I'll show you is a space over top of the seats. I like this, lots of storage. So, like it. Smoke detector, light, and Mike will explain all that to you in a little bit. We have a propane cooktop. We've got two burners. I like, I prefer two burners over one. So that works well for me. This is nice to have, it's tower for power. So uh, everything you need. 110 volts and USB, and when you're not using it? Push it down. Push it down. But not only is there one, but there's another one when you first come in the door. And this one, well, when I show you some of the stuff with the cab, you'll like it, same thing. USB 110, and it goes down. And I'll show you all this stuff a little later on. So we have our cooktop with our two gas propane burners. We have our microwave ready to go. A nice drawer, and I like this. This is a cover for the sink. And uh, you have workspace if you want to use it for workspace. We'll put it in there just to store it right now. I like this hardware. You see how easy that is? Nothing fancy, just nice, it works. And a drawer down there. Always can use can all these drawers. Can I show a little my secret compartment? Go ahead. Right here. Look. It's like a little safe. And you can put, well, all sorts of stuff that you want in there. And then it locks really nice. Pretty that cool, That it huh? does. Pretty hmm. cool. Very nice. A good idea. Bottle opener? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a bottle opener. I was opener. thinking bottle opener, too. I thought, well, that doesn't seem quite right. Those are magnets. So you can put stuff on, uh, refrigerator? on your refrigerator, I guess. Okay. 
nice drawer, and as long as you mentioned refrigerator, this little swivel lock, which is so simple and works so well. Pull open. The refrigerator isn't that large, but probably enough for most people, unless you're going on a super, super long trip. Little freezer. I think this could be adequate. Two people, I don't see it as a problem. And we've got our faucet, our sink, the cover for that sink, and normal, this eco hot water. This is really nice. This is part of Truma. Before you uh, are going to use hot water, you just turn it on like that for a minute or so. And then uh, it, what it does is it heats up the water in all the lines. And then when you turn this on, it's instant hot water. Same with your shower. It really saves you. You don't have to run that water to get it hot. And should we show them how awesome these windows are? Yeah, this is nice. I like the um, awning windows like this. You can let a lot of air in even if Look it's raining. Look how wide you can open that. Look at that. I know. I, I'm, I'm just that. That's really all. excited about that. And privacy and the shade, or the screen, I should say. I'm sorry. The screen right up above. Keep those bugs out. So privacy or a little of both. You can adjust it as needed. And this is something very, well, you can see the spice rack or whatever you want to put up here for cooking. Going to lock those windows? If I don't know, I'll you might forget. forget. <laughs> and we certainly now that one. I'm not. I haven't got it all the way up. I'll have to let you do that one. Just needs the strength of a he-man. There you go. <laughs> Good job. So whatever you want to store up here, this will work great for storing there. Above it, we start all these cabinets. Big deep cabinet. Nice cabinet. Oh, divide it. Hmm. What do you think? I was, what wondering you'd put, what'd you put in I was thinking about the uh, coffee pot. Oh, wondered if it that might was work. a coffee like pot. A little, yeah, my little cured pot, maybe. I think it's too tall, though. So you know, you've quite got a bit of cabinet. A lot of, a lot of Lots storage of room. here. Oops, a lot of storage. So let's and again, go. the same thing with these windows on this side, and on this side, uh, they open up as well. Actually, that one opens awning style. This is a slider because because of the door. Because you can see the door. And open. I really appreciate that this is a slider because you know somebody would forget. They'd have it open and they'd open the door. It's you, you disaster the, waiting to happen. And I don't think people understand. Uh, we saw a couple of models that we tested where if you put those windows up and you open the door, you would knock the window out. So they are really smart. They made that almost foolproof. I'm sure I'd break it if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice over the bed. You see how this thing works? They basically have a little tray to put, um, you know, like your cell phone. You know what uh, I'd probably your, do? Whatever else you'd want. I'd probably have a glass of water up here and then spill it on me. <laughs> no, 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 don't put a glass of water. <laughs> but your glasses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you were just complaining about these in the road truck. Look at that. But I didn't realize, is this ambiance? It is ambiance. But I was thinking it was a reading light. And again, so wonder, simple. None of these Firefly touch screens, just a switch. Just an on off switch. That's all you need. When, yeah, you're in bed, off, off, and a little ambiance. So, uh, nice window. Again, screen. I gotta turn on some lights so we can show everything here. Yeah, you better. Now, we've already talked when we were doing the driving test how comfortable these are. But, oh, oh I my can, goodness. I can testify to that. I, I think I took a two-hour nap. <laughs> well, I was here. driving. Yes, yeah. while you were doing all the work. This slides out easily if you want to, whoops, wait till I get out of here. Watch my knees. Yeah, so. The, um, the only thing, there's a little step here. Two single beds, right? Yeah, but, but if you wanted to make it into a king, this you would just over take there. these cushions and you'd have a king-size bed. Yeah, and that's really nice. You don't have to. As we saw in other models, put a bunch of wooden slats in shelves. Yeah, right. That just this takes you two seconds. Very nice, very simple, and uh, very comfortable. And these cushions, you just move them around. Did we Where did we explain how 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 thick these cushions are? And this covering that they have on it is really nice because they don't. Um, there's a little. Uh, storage thing on, on mm -hmm. the side there. See yeah. that little little net? Yeah. That's really nice. But what's really nice about them is you're not sliding off. You put your sleeping bag on and it's on leather, it kind of slides off. Very nice. So, 
Yeah, your sleeping bag wouldn't slide off of this. The lagoon table goes wherever you want it to go. You want a roadblock? You just put it wherever you want it to be. You put it, a lot of people will place. do it, and this will be like the dining room table. Mm -hmm. For us, it would be the conference table where we could do our daily planning. Uh, and that's all cool. And I guess now is as good a time as ever for me to kind of explain the other table options while we're talking tables. But this is so practical. This will move. This will actually, you, you can, can take, take that off. out and you can put it over here. Right there, there's the track for it, see? So I'm not going to do that because it takes a lot of time and you've seen us move them before. But these two chairs in the cab swivel around um, because I haven't swiveled that one. But if you pull this out, this will make into another table that you can bring out even a little further and it will, uh, it will let you have a desk. So that'll be on kind of an angle and you have like a working desk, you've got a ledge you can put stuff, or if you move that table here, you can have this kind of be a secondary desk and your table. So just so many options uh, for seating. And again, these do swivel around. And also that, what you just pulled out, could be added uh, space for when you're cooking. Yes, you could bring that out while you're cooking and do mm -hmm. some preps. I want to just talk about this cab for a minute. We've talked about how we have fallen in love with the ProMaster chassis. This is a nine-speed transmission, and uh, it has everything. It has a big screen for your navigation. Uh, up uh, above it, up here, this is actually a rear-view mirror camera. So it's bright, it's crisp, it shows you what's behind you. And uh, honest, I wish I had that on our passenger cars as well. It is so nice and uh, very easy to drive. The easiest chassis we have driven in a Class B RV is the ProMaster, just like a SUV. This is a wireless charger here for your cell phones, a USB connection there, both C and A, if you want to connect to CarPlay or Android Audio, Auto. So really nice, uh, and cup holders underneath. So that is the cab and the storage. And over here, you've got your entertainment complex, right? Yes, you've got a TV that you can swing around, adjust to make it go to all different angles. And look, uh, a really nice sound bar mm. underneath it. That is nice. If you have watched TV and, and RV, you have obviously noted before how terrible the sound often is. Yeah, what I would like to say as a person that has a big dog, that when you come in, there's a lot of area when you first walk in there. And Bo's bed could go right there, and he'd yep. be. Um, then the only thing we can't go in is the microwave or the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of room for, for there's our a dog lot of room. here. We could put his bed there, and then when we get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, we're not bothering him. Now, if you have a CPAC, I think you'd probably sleep on this side, put the cover on the sink, and plug in, hook up the CPAC on over there. There is a lot of storage on the passenger side. There's. A, a lot of storage under here. So uh, hide, hide things that you need to hide, put them away. So storage, ample storage, comfort, table, move it wherever you need it to be, put it away, leave it out. I think this could work. This is the uh, Travato. This is uh, what we have uh, been testing out for you. And uh, let's kind of talk it over and give you sort of our take on what we like the best and what we think could be different. Um, what would you like best? A comfortable mattress. Can we hands down say this is probably the most comfortable mattress of all of the ones that we slept yeah, on? Yeah, this is the most comfortable mattress yeah. that we have seen out there. This is just a little thing. I, I like this countertop. I don't like the gold speckled stuff. I like this. I think, you know, it's just a little thing. Tasteful. Tasteful. <laughs> um, uh, the sound bar uh, for the television. Sound you know, bar on the TV. Some, you're going to get nice. some sound. And from sitting here as if we were watching TV, um, it's right there, very, and you can move it around. Same if we are sitting in the cab as well. Uh, okay, um, the lagoon tables and the situation with turning those chairs around and then using the tables as a workspace. Uh, this other person could certainly use this as a workspace. Mm -hmm. This can be a dining room table. 
uh, lots of room in the corridor. I really like all those things. I'm enjoying having the little switches to turn lights on. Yes. Yeah. Like you know, I, over when, the sink, over the cook area, in the bathroom. When I first got in this, I thought, well, they don't have the latest technology, uh, like Firefly. But you know what, Firefly, it's just a flat panel panel of technology that can go wrong. It doesn't do much more than turn on switches and stuff. And when you have a manual switch, it's less less things are going to fail, and it just gives you a lot. I think sometimes old school is better, and a switch is better than a flat screen. I think in this case, sometimes I want just a little bit of light, and this light over the sink, light over the cooktop. Yeah, you just perfect. Yeah. Except I am disappointed. I know ambiance is nice. Maybe there's a way to make it so it's not just a blue light. I would like a reading light. Yeah, I, I don't know how well that um, would be to read with, but it might be fine. Um, things we would change. Uh, for me, the uh, wet bay and where the hoses hook up in the back, that's just, I don't understand that. Everything else seems so well engineered. Why would you have to run your hose and uh, shut a door over it. I mean, I don't think it's just good security to have a city water hookup and then your hose. The one thing I guess maybe I'll say is maybe most people who are in the Travado are boondockers and don't necessarily hook up to city water. I don't know. I'm hoping I'll look in the descriptions for this and find Travado owners say, hey, this is how you get the hose in without crimping it. But we didn't see it. Now, for me, there's a drop off. From the from the up the chassis area, do you come here? From the cab to yeah. From the there's a drop off area from the cab to the main part where you live, and it looks like about four inches. And if you look down, you'll see that my feet are not touching the floor, and I don't. <laughs> I think I like to be grounded, and I'm thinking maybe having it like this is makes it more accommodating to tall people, because <coughs> excuse me. That air conditioning unit does drop down about, what, two, three inches? I'm 5'10", so I don't know. That's underneath the air conditioner. But um, I don't know if I could get used to not having my feet touched You look down. like a little girl. Well, I <laughs> remember that old, that program, what was it? Yeah. Saturday Night, I don't know. Laugh-In, I think it Laugh was. Yeah, yeah. That the predecessor to Saturday Night Live. Yeah, she sat there and her feet never touched the ground. Back when things were really funny. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, let's see. But, I'm I'm sitting right on the edge, but yeah, I can see and that. And I know that the screens that zip, that you roll up, down, zip, aren't going to break. Yeah. Uh, you see, now you think that's a positive? No. Oh. I, I like the screen that you pull. Yeah. I, I think that uh, where Winnebago could do much better is in the screens. Um, particularly this screen, you know, yeah, I know, but come on, you, this is like 15 years old. People have been doing this kind of a screen and uh, they say, well, it's worked for 15. Maybe it's like my switches, you know, that the switches are really a good thing. And, but uh, we've it's, seen really good screens on the Coachman, for example. Those maybe, were awesome screens. Maybe they've had enough people complain about dogs running through the screen, the screen. Well, the dogs could do this uh, here, well, too. Yeah, they, they wouldn't do as much damage. They wouldn't do as much damage. Easier to fix. But, I, I but, can see that works and that's good. I, I want to pull screen. The technology is certainly there. We've seen Coachman do it. And uh, I would uh, do the same in the back. Coachman has one that pulls down instead of another one of these clunky roll up things. I bet there's less run in to uh, get it fixed. Yes, with that. probably. And probably. I like two handrails. I like more of a door feel than the sliding door open real, real big and yeah. then shut, shutting, but that's just me. Yep. Uh, we didn't show this. It's great. Nice fan. Uh, really good fan. This thing works great. Um, it opens up automatically and uh, really helps you to... Uh, um, Get your cooking uh, odors out. Yep. Keep, take your cooking odors out or just uh, cool move off. some air around. Cool off. Helps and, move uh, that air around. Does a great job. And what I would like to know is what this is. There's a long one these on are that these side. It's the same thing as this. They have a oh. system where you can put stuff. So in that area, for example, uh, that's where I would have some kind of a rack and you would put cell phones. You know, when I'm a, 
I'm obsessive about knowing what time it is, and uh, that's where I would put a cell phone or, you know, who knows what, put your glasses. Well, thank you uh, for explaining yep, that Yep, they have a really nice little system. Yeah. You can adjust it, move it however you want So I here. need to go online and see all the different options. Yeah. So overall, I think we want to say that we are pretty pleased with this, surprisingly pleased. I, I can't believe how much I like it. And I now know why we don't see more of this orange-red color. Why is that? Because it's like one thousand nine hundred dollars. <laughs> so is for so two thousand cool, for two thousand dollars, people probably want to spend that two thousand dollars on white batteries. White or gray. Boring. Yeah, you know, you just stick with the uh, white or the gray. I don't know if you pay extra money for white or gray. I mean, this is sharp, but I don't. I don't know if I, I probably would trim the budget. Would you? And not spend. Well, see, to know, me, that's a plus. I love the color. Yeah, I, would, I love I the, color the color, too. But I know now why I don't see it everywhere. All right. Well, Winnebago, uh, no wonder the Travato is so popular. Nice job. Yeah, this is tough. So that's five of these RVs now we have reviewed in this series. We have found so many things that we really like that uh, have changed since we were last in a Class B. We're going to do a whole uh, one more part of this series, which will kind of debrief us. We'll talk with Nick and we'll do our best to come up with our all time of the five. This is the one that we found the best to suit our needs. That's going to be a tough choice, uh, really a tough is. challenge. Uh, so that's coming up next and we'll have some perspectives uh, about uh, living in a in a in a type uh, type B uh, RV again. and. Um, we urge you to stay with us. You can get links to all the other reviews that we've done in this series. This uh, they'll be up there on the screen. You know what is so funny is I just so disliked this color when I first saw it. I'm just like no the interior. Way. No, the exterior. Yeah. I didn't like it, and I'm just like. And then I walked in and I saw the dark wood. Like, no, this is not me. I, I don't. I don't even want to walk in that thing. I don't even want to take it home. It's not me. And spending time in it and just looking at it, I have come to really like the orange red. I think it's I really, fun. I, I didn't think I'd I like, like this either. I like the wood. The hardware is so easy to work. Uh, the covers on the mattresses, everything's comfy. I don't know if Nick thought that this one would knock it out of the park for us, but it's come pretty darn close to that. Yeah. We really do yes. like it. I, I genuinely like it, and I like having two burners. But we've liked them all. So. Yeah. Anyway, come back to part six, and we'll kind of give you uh, our assessment. We'll go think about it before we put our thoughts together, and we'll see where all that goes. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and if you have, um, man, I hope you've subscribed to our channel. We have um, over a couple thousand videos online, and we have new ones every week, and we would really consider it an honor if you would subscribe to the our YouTube channel here. All right, we're Mike and Jen, boats outside, and enjoying the fresh air, and... Um, we're, uh, we're, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap this, one. this up. So I will say happy trails.